Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a haul video of some makeup items that I purchased online that came in today, and I got some things from Urban Decay and LadyMoss.com, so I will share them with you guys. So the first two things that I got I ordered from Urban Decay, and I got these because I had wanted them for a while and they had gone on sale, and it is both of the kind of build-your-own palettes, um, the two look like this. I love the packaging of it. It's so pretty. And these two uh, are just little four um, shadow compacts and each one comes with an exclusive Urban Decay eyeshadow. So the first one that I got is called the Rock Palette. And again, like I said, the packaging looks like this. It's really pretty. So this is what the tin looks like. I really like the packaging of this one. It is the hard metal tin and I love the design on it. It has like gems and stuff and um, I just love the way it looks. So this one also comes with a large nice mirror and so you have the four slots where you can um, custom build your palette. You can buy each um, eyeshadow and fill them in. And the one that this one comes with, I must say it's a little hard to get these out. Either I'm just an idiot and I can't figure it out, or it's really tough. It kind of hurts my finger to get it out. And then, of course, I pop it out and nearly drop it. Um, but this color is called Rock, and it is a kind of silvery taupe eyeshadow. And the second palette I got is called the Melt Palette. And again, I love the packaging of these. They're so pretty. And this is what the package of this one looks like. It has these uh, melted roses on it, and I think it's so pretty. I just love Urban Decay's packaging of almost everything they have. It's just always so pretty, and I love it. And the eyeshadow that comes with this one is called Melt, and it is just a very light kind of a tan champagne shimmer color. And these were on sale for $12 each, and so that's for the palette and the eyeshadow. And originally these are, I think, $18 each, which is the price of one of their um, regular eyeshadows. So this I thought was a really good deal because, first of all, you're getting the eyeshadow and it's basically like getting the case for free. But also it's a little bit discounted because the regular eyeshadows are $18 and these were $12. So I got these. I think they're great for traveling. They're the perfect size. And they are a little bit smaller than the tin cases that came out with the Wizard of Oz collection. Um, I think the Glinda and the Theodora palette. Um, those are six palette or six pans each and these are four pans so it's just a, a little bit smaller. And Urban Decay always throws in a little freebie with um, their orders and the one that I got this time was the Naked Urban Decay Flushed um, little sample swatchy thing. I don't know. It comes with the, um, and this one is Naked Flushed. They also have Naked Native, Naked Strip, and Naked Streak. And it's just a bronzer, highlighter, blush um, trio. And I've never tried any of these, so this one is in the color Flushed, so I will probably be trying these out soon. And I must say, the color uh, combo Native looks really pretty. I like the way those colors look. So that was it for Urban Decay. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did spend a little bit, I think. Let's see. After shipping and all that, it was around, um, let's see, $35.12, so... Still a good deal because um, I love those palettes. They're great for traveling. The only thing that I don't like is that they are um, specific to the Urban Decay eyeshadows, but that's not a huge deal because I love their eyeshadows anyway. Um, and the next few things that I got are from Lady Moss, and I've ordered from there before, and um, I had originally purchased the LA Girl lip paints. What I forgot what they're called. Uh, let's see. They are called the Glazed Lip Paints. And I think they originally had six colors that they launched, and I was um, just scrolling through like makeup blogs that I follow, and I found that they had launched so many new colors, and I had no idea when they launched it, but I couldn't help myself, and I picked out a ton of the lip glaze. So I really couldn't help myself, and I got a ton of the um, lip glazed uh, lip paints. I really love these. I have two of them that I'd ordered before. 
and I really like those and I couldn't help myself and I got almost all of them I think there was like one or two colors that I didn't get just because I didn't want it and um, yeah so <laughs> I will go through and show you all the colors I got and each of these lip paints are $3.25 each and I really like these because like I said they remind me a lot of the OCC lip tars I think they're a really good dupe of them and they're like a fifth of the price so it's kind of a no-brainer at how much I love these and how much I would recommend them um, and like I said apparently they launched some new colors and I had just recently found out about them and I decided to get like I said almost all of them so these are what the lip gloss packaging looks like and um, it does come with a squeeze tube applicator um, but I recommend you to not apply this directly from the tube um, because it is just a horrible mess. If you do that, you pretty much have to use a lip brush with this kind of product. So I will try to show these in groups because I know after looking at them for a long time, they can kind of look like very similar color. So I'm just going to hold them uh, up about four at a time, however many I can fit in my hands, and just kind of give you a little bit of a shade comparison. And of course, I'll be doing swatches as well. Um, but here are the first four. They're a bit um, on the pinky, kind of nude shade um, side of the colors. And this one is Whisper. It is definitely the lightest and possibly the most neutral um, nude color of them all. Then next is the color Elude, and it's just a bit more of a pinker, a little bit warmer version of Whisper. Then next is the color Flirt, and again, it's just a little bit more of a truer pink kind of color to it. These are pretty much... Um, very warm kind of peachy pinks rather than a cool blue tone pink and then this next one here is called a peony then the next three colors I got are this one right here this one is called whimsical and it's the color I'm wearing right now and this one in the like little packaging color of it it looks to be a little bit more of a muted um, kind of like a mauvey almost tiny bit lavender pink but on my on my lips the color turns out to be um, a little bit more of a pinker color than what the packaging um, color looks like I was hoping it would be a little truer to this kind of mauve color but I still think it's a really pretty color this next one here is called tease and it is a very bright um, pink color it's probably I think the brightest most um, hot pink color out of the ones that I have and then next I got this color and I think I accidentally ordered this color because I remember seeing it and thinking that um, I would pass on this one um, this one is called tango and it's a bit of a an orangey kind of red color definitely a little more orange than red um, but this is one that I thought I skipped on but apparently I ordered it um, but still uh, an orange uh, lip color that I think is really pretty I don't really like orange lips in the fall winter time so much so I will probably be saving this for springtime and the final three colors that I got are very very um, gorgeous colors for fall and winter and there are these darker kind of berry wine colors that I think are so pretty and this first one here is called seduced and it is a bit more of um, a lighter berry color um, definitely a little bit more of a pinky purple kind of color then next I have the color daring and it's just a little um, step darker than uh, seduce and a little bit more red toned and then finally the darkest color I have which I'm so excited to try on is called tempt and it's just a very dark blackened kind of like a burgundy um, plum color so like I said I will have comparison swatches showing here or throughout the video to give you guys an idea of um, what the colors look like and kind of um, how similar or how different the colors are because I definitely could tell on other people's swatches that the colors some of them looked kind of similar and some looked very different and then some just didn't look exactly what I was expecting and the final product I got also from Lady Moss is by um, NYX and this is their eyebrow gel they just came out with these um, uh, a few maybe like a month or two ago and I have been dying to try them and I got the one in the color blonde and this is what the color looks like and I was hoping it would be 
a little bit lighter um, color. I am wearing it in my eyebrows today and I think it doesn't look um, as dark on camera but definitely in person I think it was just the tiniest bit darker than I would have wanted. I still think it works fine for me. Um, I think I can wear it and I'll definitely use it. I just wish it was just the tiniest bit lighter especially since I have such light blonde hair. I know that my brows are supposed to be darker but they almost feel a little too dark um, with this product. Sometimes if it's too dark it can look too stark against your uh, light colored hair. Um, again, like I said on video it doesn't seem to look that bad um, but Definitely, if they had a lighter option, I would go for that. But sadly, this is their lightest color. So, And the price of the eyebrow gels are $7 each, which seems to be a pretty um, fair price to me, especially since uh, this is kind of like the OCC lip tar for your eyebrows. You just need the tiniest bit, and it goes so far. So something like this, I could honestly see this lasting me like a year or two if I were to use this on a regular basis. So... Definitely, um, I would say a really great par uh, price point. However, I wish there was a little bit more of a shade range option. I think they have maybe four or five colors, um, but this is their lightest color blonde. And again, it's looking a little lighter on camera than it is in person, but I will take pictures and um, hopefully that will show you guys a more accurate representation of the color. So that is it for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.